So I have the PMG open. So this is the internal structure. Uh, so I think we had a number of goals. One of them is to see the structural integrity try and see whether it can be spun at higher RPMs without um, a mechanical breakdown. So if you look at the rotor, these are the magnets. Uh, these are very strong neodymium magnets. I would rate them at least uh, N45 or more. Uh, they're very strong, and that is actually why I did not remove this fully because it's it's fit in there. The pull uh, on the rotor is very high, or it's very strong. Uh, so I I thought it was not uh, was not advisable to just pause it out. Uh, so if you look at the magnets, the the fitting is we've got this uh, wedge shape here, which means that the magnets are not held in place using glue that would be disastrous at higher rpm but instead they are mechanically held in place through this wedge shape if you look at this wedge shape this also the um, the magnet itself has, has a wedge shape which means that once all the magnets are put in place they lock together and they uh, they, they stop um, they lock together and they stop the movement outward through the centrifugal force through these locks. So mechanically, uh, structurally, it's sound to run at higher RPMs. So I'm going to run that at higher RPMs. When it comes to wiring, so these are the, the output wires that we had. Uh, but then there's this other connection that has three wires coming in from the windings. This was covered with this. So looking at this configuration, I look at the other side and there were no terminals. There were no winding terminators there. So that means that we only have three windings for this PMG. That means every phase has a single winding without any, any breaks in between the, the interconnected. So looking at this configuration, when it comes to three phase, there are usually two configurations. There is delta. Uh, and there is a star. And from the wiring that I see here, I see that we do have the, the star configuration. Uh, usually with the star configuration, so the name star comes from the representation that is usually done. Because it's usually represented like this. So these are the windings, and then you get the star shape, and then the delta shape is usually like this. Uh, you have the winding. So that's why it's called delta. So and then you have uh, the three faces coming out: one face, two face, three face. So here, if you look at this, we have this uh, connection at the center here, and that is what we have here. These are the three faces that we did not have access to from outside because the, the other three faces that came out are from this. So looking at this, it means that the output voltage that we were getting was the output voltage between two widings uh, inside the PMG. Uh, it, 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 and it's not one. I had initially thought it was one because I I would have thought, I would have thought that they would route this to the body because this is a neutral point. Uh, you have 120 degrees uh, phase difference between all the faces, which means when you bring them together, this one gets zero volts. Um, but that is if, if the configuration is fine and you can actually ground this because that would be ground relative to everything else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wire here and then I'll, I'll route, route it out so that I can actually connect uh, an output between um, that I can connect an output between a phase or a single winding individually so this means you're going to get lesser voltage uh, but then that means that we'll be able to spin the 
PMG at higher velocities before we can hit uh, 240 volts. Uh, so I'll try that. But the good thing about getting a wire out of here as well is that if I want to try the earlier configuration, I can always connect between these two. If I want the output between uh, a close one winding, then I can just connect this and this. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get uh, a fourth wire out of this. So that is going to be the neutral. So we are going to get a three phase four wire configuration coming out of the of the PMG. And then uh, I'm going to set it up to run uh, at higher RPM on the flywheel. So that is going to be done in the next video. And then I will look at the output, uh, the power output for this. So looking at the resistance, the winding resistance, So between the two windings, we have uh, that's around 56 ohms. And then if you look at the other two windings, we still have 56 ohms. So, but if you look at between any winding and the, and the common point, you get 28 or 29 ohms. So that means it's half of what's in between the two of them. So that means, uh, that also goes to confirm that we have a, a star configuration. Uh, so the other thing is the, the thickness of the winding. Uh, this is uh, around one millimeter uh, square. This is not diameter. I would say 1.5 mm. Uh, no, not 1.5, 1 mm. So that means we cannot run a lot, a lot of current through this wire. I think the maximum current that I, I would recommend running through this is 10 amperes, and that, 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 that will still be a lot, but at, at least it can handle that. I wouldn't recommend getting a lot of amperes out of this. Uh, and the reason is there's no active cooling. That is the other thing you want to look at this. There are no fans spinning here, drawing in here, or, or, or pushing, pushing air out. So, which means it's using passive cooling, uh, which means we could we could get that more runaway if we if we run this at very very high temperatures. And remember that neodymium magnets uh, lose their magnetism at around 80 degrees, and their magnetism degrades as the temperature rises. So, from the outputs, we'll be able to see whether power will be degrading over time, and then we we'll know that neodymium magnets are. Are, are, are starting to over now in the next video i'll go through the numbers that we have collected and the various observations that we've done and i'm going to do a thorough analysis of the expected output for this pmg uh, because i think this there are a lot of things that are not up to the specifications and um I also think that this might be suited for various use, use cases, but not for others. I'll also dive into details of what kind of power you, you would expect to get out of this PMG uh, and whether you should really get this based on the use case that you might have. So yeah, watch out for the next video. Uh, like and subscribe so that you can get notified when that video gets uploaded.